Hey Squeaky, are you hiding in the corner from the hurricane? Are you trying to stay safe? What are you doing? You should really see the new squeaks. It is crazy. Sunday night, I think we'll start to see things finally uh, begin to uh, get a little bit better around here, but it's going to take its sweet time. Crystal, back to you. All right. Well, we hope everyone takes this very seriously. We want to continue our live team coverage now with Alicia Palumbo. She's with New England Cable News, live in Narragansett, Rhode Island. And Alicia, obviously we're not expecting the worst of the weather there until Saturday night and into Sunday. What's the latest now? What are you hearing from people? Are they heeding any of uh, the warnings as far as the information coming out so far? I have to say, some people are, some people aren't. It's really a mixed bag at this point, just because it seems so early to some people. I'm actually here, You can. it's kind of hard to tell because it's dark right now, but we are just yards from the ocean here. These are some of the homes that are in the worst area for Hurricane Irene. You can actually see that some people have already boarded up their homes. They've got these windows boarded up and they are all set to go, hoping that this will protect them from the wind and the rain that's expected on Sunday. All right, well, Lisa, it looks like, you know, they're taking the precautions now. We don't have any additional information as far as mandatory evacuations yet. Um, are you hearing about, you know, possible time frame on that? Well, we are. We've been told by officials that they're actually going, they're telling people to evacuate by 10 a.m. Sunday morning in all the low-lying areas around Narragansett. We were supposed to have a map for you uh, in my story here, but basically the low-lying areas right around the coast, they're telling people to get out and get out now. At 5 o'clock on Sunday morning, they will be blocking off some of these roadways, hoping that people will get out of the area. Back to you, Crystal. All right, Alicia Palumbo, we appreciate that update tonight out of Rhode Island. And coming up next here on The Rundown, we're going to have more Hurricane Irene coverage, of course. We'll go to our live cruise and bring you the very latest. If we hear about any more evacuations, we will let you know. More on the timing of the storm, the threats as well. We'll check in with our experts and find out what they're thinking. Look oh, at this. Oh, it's going to Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. You can see the pouring rain as the outer bands of Hurricane Irene. Look at that. People. The North Carolina coastline. We are expecting you see this squeaky? tomorrow morning. It's going rain. Point, but we're already seeing the dangerous weather unfolding here with these outer bands moving in. We've had tornado warnings already. A tornado watch is out. Look at the waves picking up. The wind is blowing. Gusts over 40, 50 miles per hour already. Tornado oh. warning out for the following cities until 9:45 p.m. 